Hello world. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up passwordless SSH. So as you can see here, if we try to log in to my Raspberry Pi, so I'm using Putty and I've just created a server and you can see here, I can log in with the uh, username Pi and my password that I'll copy and paste. Um, you can see I can log in to my server, no issues, but I want to do it without actually having to put in a password. So we're going to need puttygen.exe and this is available from the Putty website. So just go to where you downloaded Putty from and uh, which is here. I'll show you this on screen. Scroll down and what you want to look for is puttygen.exe. I'm on Windows and it's a 64-bit machine. Um, so I'm going to download that and you can see I've already already got that on my desktop. So we just run uh, puttygen.exe by double clicking it and uh, that's just open on my other window, let's bring it across. You, so you can see here that we need to generate a public and private key. We're using RSA and we're going to click generate. Now it says to move your mouse around in like a lot of randomness, a random way to generate the uh, the uh, SSH um, RSA key that we need. And we're going to save the public key and we're going to save that to our desktop. And uh, you want to call it ID underscore RSA dot pub. So the public key. So this is the key that you can share um, freely. That's not a problem. Just save that. Now, and then you want to save the private key. Don't open the private key. Don't show anyone the private key and do not give anyone it. So you want to call this underscore uh, ID underscore RSA. Okay, and that's all you got to do. Now, uh, mine show up as uh, my .pub shows up as a publisher file because I've got Microsoft Publisher installed. Don't worry about that at all. Um, we're not going to be double clicking it or opening it or anything like that. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do now is we need to do a few things with our server. So uh, in the host name, remember that you can put um, the username at and then the IP address uh, so you don't have to always put in um, the stuff you need to put in. So the first thing we're going to do is do dir to move to the directory and we're going to go make directory mkdir.ssh. So we're making um, a directory.ssh. We're going to go cd.ssh, which will change us into that directory. And we're going to use touch, which will create a, f um, a file. And we're going to call it authorized underscore keys. Check your spelling. Make sure it's OK. So we're going to do dir to show that that's been made. So you can see here we've got authorized keys in that folder. And we're going to see chmod to 700 which is uh, setting the read and write permissions that we want. If you don't know what chmod does, uh, I would strongly suggest you do a little bit of research on that and find out um, what that does. And then just copy uh, what I'm putting in on the screen now. Okay, so we're, we're, we're chmodding the file. Um, okay, and then what we want to do is we want to do again uh, chmod Okay, 600, and then we're doing the authorized keys. Okay, so we're giving the .ssh folder 700 permission and the authorized key 600 permission. Okay, we're going to do nano, which is going to open our editor, and we're going to do nano authorized keys. And in here, we are going to paste the SSH RSA public key. So copy it, paste it and save it. Okay, so we're almost finished. We just need to go back to Putty. So we need to, to bring Putty in and we need to configure our server again. We're going to load that in, click load. We've got Pi at 192.168.1.4. Come across to SSH on the left hand side, go to auth, browse and select your private key which is id underscore rsa, okay, dot ppk. Select it, click open to load it into um, the, the SSH area where we need. So we just click that, select it and click open. Okay, now we've done that, we're going to go um, make sure that's um, gone into the browse and select the right file. Go back to session, click on Raspberry Pi and click save. 
Okay, so remember that if you want the username to be filled in automatically, um, which we do, then you need to put uh, pi at and the um, internal address of your Raspberry Pi. Uh, obviously, pi is the username, so if your username is something different, you need to change that. Always click save on your session. Um, and then obviously when you open putty you want to load that uh, session in and then you click open to, to to make the magic happen and for the ssh connection to work now before i show you that which i will show you that in a second i will click open in a second just to show that it does log in without password um, please 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 help me out only around 40% um, of you who watch are subscribed. So uh, that's 60% of you that are missing out on my content and it really does help my channel out. So please, please subscribe now. Okay, hit the like button, tap subscribe, click the bell and you won't miss out on any future content. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to the SSH and we're gonna press open on our putty uh, session and it will connect flawlessly with no password having to be typed in or pasted in. That's it, job done. Hope this has been helpful. Comment below if you need any help if you get stuck. Have a great day.